So before you but, went to go see him, how did you feel? Well, it was a problem, man, because I was getting up uh, X amount of time. But I, mean, I didn't know his specialty at the time. So they that's where they sent me originally from uh, track here. But I went there for waking up early, you know, in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. frequently. Frequently, okay. And then that's when I started seeing him. And then he ran all the tests. And then I gave him the history of what I, what, what I had done in the past that I could have been a problem. And because of the motorcycle accident that I had, he said, don't they uh, put a catheter at that time and things like that. And so he said, well, probably have some, some scar tissue. You know, it's a com it's common that when they use catheter, he said, that's why I started going to him. And then he said, well, you know, what we can do is try to open, open up the, uh, the urethra more. So, so the, the scar tissue that could have been built up, it wouldn't cause, you know, that sensation. He said, well, it does, it starts, it closes up some and it just gives you that sensation you gotta go. So he did his, his procedure and actually helped out. He kind of cut down that incontinence because he felt like you just had to go. So as I woke up in the middle, I had to go. So that was the whole thing. And he tells me about other stuff and, um, and he told me, I didn't think about it. I knew that at one point when you got low testosterone, um, that happens after age 30, right? Yeah. But then, um, I couldn't, I didn't, re, I didn't relate the problem. And the reason I didn't relate the problem, I said I didn't have a problem with drive or anything, you know, like sex drive or anything like that. So it didn't make any sense, right? So, but they say, one of the, you know, what they they go together, not necessarily, you're always gonna have low testosterone and low drive. You can still have high drive. But he said, but technically the, the actual hormone was really low. Me, he said it was like 180. He said the norm should be like six, 600 plus. Wow. So that's when he got me the treatment. And that kind of helped out uh, energy and drive and that, probably that extra duration that we need <laughs> in the gym. Yeah. So all that stuff, it, 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 does, it does change a lot of the stuff. You know, it does help out. But uh, then everything else that I go to, I mean, it, that's the main one of the main reasons I go to him, but you know, I mean, he, he's always constantly, he's always caring about everything that we have. So if I have uh, any other concerns about health, um, whether it's, you know, not only testosterone, but he checks other aspects of my life. So if I got any other problems, I have thyroid issues, things like that, that would relate to to energy and kind of that, he, he does let me know. You know. And then, like right now, you put me back on a, on a thyroid. I started feeling that my system has slowed down a lot, mm -hmm. especially with all this coronavirus, and like that. just doing nothing. But it could be inherited. But he's always watching out for those things, so he helps out. You know, and uh, he got me in right now in a regimen for uh, for a thyroid medicine. I think it's like ten milligrams, something like that. See how it works, and then we'll adjust up according to how it goes. And now that I got back on my testosterone. Uh, I prefer the cream, so I can control it better. Well, the thing about it, the shots get me aggressive and the watch tells me. And so, but he, he warned me about the side effects. So sometimes you can get a little more aggressive, things like that. So keep an eye, for me, sometimes I don't keep an eye on it. I just, I feel okay and then, <laughs> it affects me. That's, it. That's good, man. So, but it's good stuff. I mean, he, he genuinely does what he does because he cares. It's not like when I go to my doctor some base or the VA. It's, it's like, what do you want, kind of thing. That's mercy. <laughs> that's the feeling that you get when you go see those guys. Oh, right? man. Like, uh, yeah. What, so what do you want? <laughs> man, they should take good care of. Him, you know, especially like retirees and militaries. You know, they should they should I mean, step it up yeah. a little bit. You know, military doctors, man. They're just there just to to get some experience and then when they get on the in the real world and they say they have the experience but generally you don't always get a doctor like right here and that's just the reality mm -hmm. of the base medical team they just they're there um, they take a decision on something that you're gonna do and if this goes against what you want it's like you're gonna be up the hill like when I heard my back was here I went and I was telling him, hey, I need an x-ray because I'm or actually an MRI because I'm going to go see the back specialist so he knows what I need and it's happened before. So 
you know, I don't want to wait another week to get my x-ray so he can de determine what he's going to do next. So wow. I, and I was fighting with those guys for about three weeks. Jeez. So, That's a long time to be trying to like they, get some help. Finally, and... we went to the patient advocate and stuff like that just to get them, but look, they're refusing to do it. It's a, an ongoing problem. I've been dealing with back issues for over 15 years since I first came in the service. I understand the problem, and when it got really bad, that was the cause of action. I had to get MRI certain things so the doctor could determine what the next, the next step. But the guy is fought. And then finally went to a patient advocate, and then he was denied. All I care is that you guys send her a referral so I can get what I can. That's awesome. But you know, it's, it's what it is, man. Sometimes you just can't. So you got referred to Dr. Oz directly from Triker? Originally, yeah. Really? Wow. Um, I mean, sometimes, uh, I don't know how they pick the doctor. Sometimes there's specialties that you're not familiar with and you don't know anybody that can tell you about it. Yeah. So sometimes they grab local doctors and, you know, they just happen to refer to them. But it was a good thing. So ever since I've been with him, I mean, I got a handful of doctors that I constantly go to because they've been really good. Some I have because I try other doctors. Uh, some because they were just being good from the get-go, and he was one of those doctors that was good from the get-go. You know, he's always, again, he always cares. He doesn't try to, he, he tries to always look for natural ways to, to tamper with what, uh, our needs. 